Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the one and only World Improv Network Comedy Show on Mile High Sports Radio. Take part in the show by giving your suggestions or questions to the cast for each show segment throughout the week or live during the show by hitting them up on Facebook at World Improv Network, on Twitter at World Improv Net, or by calling in to Mile High Sports Radio Studio Line. Now, enjoy the show. It's local. It's global. You're listening to Win World Local News. Win World Local News on Mile High Sports Radio. I'm Potter Smith. Breaking news into the Win World Local News sports desk from Win Sports reporter Fired Up Frank, who's live in Times Square, New York for the annual Father's Day Father Stacking Championships. How's the competition looking like, Fired Up? Wow, uh, Potter, it is and a race to the top right now. We have fathers being flown in from all over the world, stacked like cordwood. It is reported that several of the fathers who originally formed the base have suffocated, but they are maintaining a solid base, and we are progressing upwards of 12 stories right now. Now, these uh, fathers, they're being helicoptered in and lowered by crane onto the very top of the pyramid, where approximately 100,000 men are now part of this father's pyramid. Now, Potter, I, uh, I myself am not a father, and uh, I'm just saddened to be sitting here on the side, unable to participate. Um, but it's, it's really impressive, and my heart goes out to all those children who've lost their fathers today. Back to you, Potter. Wonderful reporting. Thank you so much, Fired Up, for that. And one day, maybe you will be a father. Well, on to our next story, which is brought to us by wind contributor Tim of Detroit, Michigan. A new survey indicates that millennial dads are the first fathers in human history to have figured out true manly happiness. What masculine mojo has the millennial male discovered, and what impact will this have on all of humanity? Well, to toss some testosterone around and get these enlightened answers and more, let's check in with Win Chief Sociologist Beyonce Knows, who's live in the homoluneous city of Shangri-La. Beyonce? Yes, yes, yes. It's really nice here. It's very nice. I can, I can feel inside me uh, the hum. Yeah, yeah. There's a hum in the air. It's um, foreign. Mmm, good, really good. And um, the, 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 you know, there's a lot of Asians, <laughs> a lot of Asian people. Uh, and I, it feels good. It feels good to see all of all of these people and this unity coming together. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 Miss Beyonce, I want to uh, thank you for bearing children with a Jay-Z. He has become a great role model as father for all of us here in Shangri-La. Mm. Yeah. yeah, thank you. It wasn't easy. Thank you so easy. much, yeah. Mrs. Knows, for showing us how the best fathers of all time are millennials. Mm. Thank you for discovering our yeah. secret city yeah. Yeah. of harmony mm. and reporting it to the world. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I take all the credit. Would and you like to levitate with us? I, I already am. Uh, TikTok, I cannot levitate right now. I am ready to manscape. Oh. Yes. What? Well, once you're done manscaping, maybe we can take the shears away and let you levitate as well. Oh, very looking forward to it. Mm. Can I manscape? Mm, yeah. Can I manscape too? Wow. That's what a millennial male has found out. True happiness right there. In that case, I want to join in. Well, on to our next breaking story, which is brought to us by wind contributor Terrence of Atlanta, Georgia. 
This Father's Day and Gay Pride Celebratory Weekend has men everywhere wanting just one gift. The Kanye West Yeezy 750 Designer Boot by Adidas. This sold-out shoe of designer par excellence has straight and gay men worldwide marching in solidarity, demanding them as presents from their children and loved ones. To witness the direct impact of Mr. West's newest Adidas fashion statement in the making, let's go live to win senior fashion and style reporter Rue Pauly, who's in downtown Atlanta at the Pride and Parenting Rally with all the runway ranting details. Rue? Uh, thank you. Thank you, Potter. I'm out here just in my normal boots because I don't have any of those new Kanye's yet. Even though I want some, hey Kanye, if you're listening, hook me up. I will wear those things on camera, I'm just saying. You want more pub, I'll get you more pub. But I am here with, I mean, obviously one of the sharpest men in the parade. Hey, hi, Tyler Smoot. Tyler, I gotta say, your calves are looking primed and ready to pop. I would put those calves on a grill if I could, and that's all because of those Kanye's. Thank you, thank you. I worked hard for these calves. Now, in honor of Kanye. Now, uh, I, I, I can't help but notice, but you seem, uh, I've never seen you at any of uh, the other pride parades, but you're out here today. So I can only assume that you're new and here only because of those Kanye's. I am. I am only here because of Kanye. I've never never felt that uh, the community needed my support uh, mm. until until Kanye. Well, and what, what was it about Kanye that made you think, I need to get out there now. I need to walk in those shoes. You know, uh, he kind of confuses me, you know? Mm. Uh, you know, the weird contacts that he wears and his performances. Does he make you feel different feelings? Yeah, yeah, confusion. You know, uh, mm -hmm. a lot of confusion. And, Is and your groin confused? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it, mm. uh, it doesn't decide, you know. Oh, uh, oh, it doesn't look like it's too confused right now. Uh, I'm just thinking about Kanye. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I can't help. I'm getting, I'm getting uncomfortable. Uh, well, these maybe, pants don't fit. maybe you should just set yourself free from those leather pants. Oh uh, my God! I got a pair of Kanye oh, Yeezys right here. Uh, oh, how did you? Oh my God! Give it to me right now. <laughs> I will like kill you. Now. Give that to me now. No, oh my God! Man, back down. Oh, 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 oh my God! <laughs> Oh, uh, my Kanye's! No, my Yeah, oh my God! My Kanye's! Uh, Back to you, Potter. Oh my God! Anything for some Kanye's? Wow. Well, let's get a look at the global weather then, and let's check in with Typhoon Tiger Lily, who's enduring the weather in the Iron Isles of Westeros. How's the weather in the Seven Kingdoms looking like, Typhoon? Ah, uh, it's gotten cold. It's gotten real cold. Winter has come, and it is it is scary out here. Uh, there are lots of uh, wildlings. They're very polite, but they're scary. I, I get feelings oh, of, 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 oh, 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 there's a few here that uh, are a little sexy. I gotta say, there's something about gingers that just blows my mind. I wish I was in Dublin, you know? I got a lot of redheads there. Oh, okay. Here, I've got, I've got, I've got a sweet little wildling here. He's about five foot two, uh, and and he he has something to say about what this weather feels like, you know, and what it's been like for his family. I I don't think these are the most most intelligent creatures. I I gotta say, if they did die, we would not lose doctors or engineers. <laughs> But they're cute, kind of, and uh, please don't become a rapist one day kind of way. Like, we'll get you the right help you need, because that's what we do here. Uh, oh, God, he's, he's going to nibble. Get back to you. Back, back to you, Potter. Wow. Well, thank you for that excellent reporting on the Weather Typhoon, and thank you all for tuning in to Windworld Local News on Mile High Sports Radio. I'm Potter Smits. Stay tuned for Community Court. Next on the World Improv Network. Give the Windcast your suggestions via Facebook, Twitter, or by calling into the Mile High Sports Radio studio line during the break for a case that needs to be tackled during community court. Next on Mile High Sports Radio.